Hi there! In the last video lesson, we have connected our app to the MongoDB database. In this lesson, what we're gonna do, we're gonna structure our folder. We're gonna create our first controller because in big application, you don't wanna put everything together. So it would be a mess. So without wasting time, let's begin. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna create a folder inside the backend folder with the name of Wout, okay? And inside the Wout folder, I'm gonna create a new file named user.js. This user.js will have all the Wouts related to user, okay? So um, first of all, let's um, call express equal require express and after that um const i mean wilder i mean i'm gonna invoke it like so express that wilder like so with capital r okay and like this uh not to confuse uh because in the main app okay you will uh, call the express like so okay you will invoke it like so but in the other files you will call the express require express and call in constant water express that water with capital r like so okay and we're gonna export this module module that exports okay equal water okay so like so why we export i mean this module it's because um when we do that we make it available in the other file so that we can we can use it okay we make it available this is the reason why we export this module okay this is how we do in um in node.js okay so um after that i'm gonna create a, a route wilder okay you see wilder that that get okay what does that get um first of all it accepts two parameters first of all um uh, the forward slash i mean uh the route and after that uh request response okay like so and uh, i'm gonna send the same I mean the same message this one okay like so okay and uh, after that what we're gonna do we're gonna move to app.js so i'm gonna import import words okay so um cons I mean user routes okay like so um require um okay we are in app okay we are here so we need to move inside the route okay so like so and um wouts that user so let's see this is wouts not wouts okay but if we want we can what is better because it will have all the wouts okay this is better no problem okay and now we take i mean our user from the wouts and what we're gonna do we're gonna get rid of this okay because i'm gonna write it with middleware okay get rid of all of these okay after that let's comment okay middleware so um app that use okay so um i'm gonna copy this so as you see from user routes and paste here 
okay so what it does app that use app that use um it's a like the name says middleware and uh, middleware if you have two points for example if you uh go from point a to point b and then you have to pass in the middle this is what it does okay so uh, it does exactly what it says okay so and after that has to develop api so uh, we want to put another parameter we're going to prefix this with api i mean uh, um, we're going to have uh, i mean other words here and will it take to user and all this word will have uh, a prefix from i mean the api prefix in the world okay this is the idea okay and uh, after that so we're gonna give a try in the browser so as you can see uh, how db is connected so we're gonna give a try in the browser to see if we still receive this message okay okay in the browser so let's give a try and uh okay here http colon for source for slash i mean this time i have uh, the port i mean 8000 so because i don't don't forget i prefix my api with api so like so and click enter okay let's wait okay to see to get the answer okay and as you can see hi from node.js okay so um we're gonna get back and what we're gonna do now we're gonna create i mean our first controller we're gonna create our controller because we don't wanna handle the logic here in the world the words will be the words folder will be responsible to have i mean uh all the user route okay so if we put the logic here it would be messy so also okay and for that to avoid that i'm going to create another folder controller that will handle the logic okay let's do it okay let's create another folder i mean name controllers okay okay and in the controllers folder let's create another file name i mean user JS. Okay, so in this file, okay, this is located inside the controllers. What we're gonna do? Let's um, export. I mean, export. Say, say hello. Equal request response. And. Uh, like so, we're gonna return a uh, response that JSON, okay? Response JSON, um, JSON. Oops. Like so. A uh, message. I mean, uh, let's say. Controller user is working like so but um they say a, a law is an example later we're gonna replace that okay don't worry about this and let's save and now inside the the route okay inside the route i'm gonna i'm gonna import this okay cause i'm gonna extract this from i mean you see this in the controller method okay so extract say hello okay equal require like so and uh, i'm gonna move because i am in the word folder i should move one step okay and after that uh, controllers okay controllers and what i need user okay controller user okay like so and now after that i'm gonna get rid of all of this the logic i'm gonna remove the logic okay pay attention i'm gonna remove the logic and i'm gonna replace it 
like so okay and let's save so you see my server is restarted automatically if there was an error so it will throw it would throw error here okay in the console but it seems like uh, everything is okay so uh, i'm gonna give a try in the browser to see so don't forget this is our message okay control is controller user is working so let's give a try in the browser okay so i'm gonna refresh okay this okay and as you can see i have uh, now so you see here this is uh, uh, the json format okay so message controller user is working so you see it has i have an ex i have an extension so you could install it for json in the browser so that it would make the json look prettier okay so um i think uh, we are done for this lesson so we have successfully structured our folder uh, with the route and controllers okay we have the basic um configuration of our folder so guys um uh, this is it uh, for this tutorial so if you like this video please leave a thumbs up so if you have any question so please uh, use the comment section and don't forget to invite your friend to this channel so from now see you um uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye bye